What's up, money guys? How you doing? It's your boy, and I'm back again. So we've got a few in hand reviews of some shoes. So we're going to start firstly with the JJJ John the Gore-Tex 2002s. So I used to own a pair of 2002 as my first New Balance shoe, and I can definitely attest that that, that shoe is nice. And um, as you guys can see on the video there, I'm wearing the 2002, sorry, I'm wearing the 1906 protection pack, which I do love dearly. I do think they're better looking than the 2002. The 2002 silhouette is nice, but it's a little bit simplistic. However, when it comes in this Gore-Tex iteration, I think it's fantastic. Also guys, make sure you subscribe as well. So, um, I'm worried right now with my uh, shoes, especially uh, in, the, in the UK. It rains, it's cloudy quite a lot. And with the Gore-Tex, I think it takes the you know waterproof protection to a new level. When it comes to footwear and this shoe, when I held it, the quality of the material, the Gore-Tex, it just feels reassuring. I'm not saying just go and just jump in puddles, but at least you know if you know it gets a bit wet out there, you're covered. So with this one, it's the this color is very hard to describe in, uh, unless you see it in real life. It's a dark gray, kind of like a stone gray, and then you've also got the toe box, which has got that waterproof material, which comes in that black as well. Another thing which I've heard is an experience sometimes when you walk on the street, on the pavement, some of the um, some of the tiles or whatever you call it, some of the pavement is loose and some of the water tends to go in. So when you step on the pavement slab, with the one that's loose, there's some water underneath and you can catch it and the water just goes into your toe box. And then now you've got some wet socks, which I really dislike quite a lot as well. So this definitely solves this. I'll be buying this. I've not bought shoes in quite a long time, but I think I'll be definitely buying these. They're still sitting there, and even if they do sell out, you can still buy them for a cheaper price. What do you guys think about these shoes? Did you buy them? And also I like the, the laces are quite different compared to your average um, 2002s or even any new balance. So they've kind of got the rucksack um, stringy thing, plastic thing there, as you guys can see, which is, I think, nice. It's a nice little touch as well. And on the back as well, you've also got the JJJ jound branding as well. It's fantastic. And also the sole as well. The sole just seems so rigid. It just seems so strong as well. And the only criticism I'll say with New Balances is when you wear them. Now, if you don't have a flat foot and you tend to walk on the outside of your foot, you do notice the wear and tear on the back of the sole. It does wear off way quicker than any other shoe that I've worn before. And so I think with the New Balances, you've got to just be aware of that fact as well. So I do wonder if this sole is going to be a little bit different. It's just going to be more just more rugged and just, yeah, shouldn't have that issue. So in your balance are shoes that you wear all the time. You've got to just, you know, have your beaters and then you have new balances. And I can say that because I've got Jordans and um, Nike Dunks that I've had for the last five years and they have not had this issue. So that's the only thing, just negative thing. But apart from that, you know what? Shout out to JJJ Jound. It's a bit of a tongue tie. JJJ Jound. Shout out to uh, him. I do like also the other colors as well. I would love to get them both, but for the price of paying, you've got to choose one sometimes unless you're getting sponsored. You know, if uh, New Balance is watching, you can always sponsor your boy. I've got my email just down in the description box. So guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I'll see you guys soon.